Hola, bienvenidos a los diarios de Gordon. Hoy voy a hablar cinco minutos en inglés. ¿Por qué? Porque quiero hablar de un tema súper importante que es diferenciar entre el pretérito y el imperfecto. Ok, so here we go. Just This is just something that I want you to think about, something that might help you to put into place the preterite and the imperfect. And the reason I'm doing this is that, that of all of the students that I talk to, that all at some point have a doubt about the preterite and the imperfect, when they should use it, when they shouldn't use it, um, etc. What I've discovered is that, as a default, everybody seems to go for uh, imperfect. And if we were going to choose between ser and estar, everybody seems to go for estar. And they say estaba. Okay? But that's just because we haven't got a system in place. We haven't got kind of a way of measuring it. Remember, native speakers do not need a system. Native speakers do not need to know any way of getting it right. Why? Because they know perfectly well how to do it. They are experts. They don't have to think about it. Unfortunately, non-native speakers, we do. We need a system. Or if not, it all goes to pot. It all goes ridiculously bad if we don't have a system. So let's see if we can just put a little bit of the, the building blocks into place here. Okay. Have you heard about the preterite being a finished event. And I know I've spoken about this before. A finished event, okay? Which is probably the least useful thing that anybody could say, unless it's qualified, because everything in the past is a finished event. Everything. That's why it's in the past. Wouldn't make sense if it was unfinished and in the past. That would be ridiculous. So, whenever I ask in my classes, what is the preterite? You know, it's like clockwork. The very first thing that people say is, it's a finished event. And I say, well, well done. Okay, because that's in the past. Yes, it is. But so is the imperfect. It's finished. Era policia. Can't get much more over than that. And that's imperfect. So what is it? What do they mean? What do the books mean when they say a finished event? What it is, if you imagine the preterite, and this is, this is the system that I'd like you to use, or maybe you can try on and see if it works for you. Imagine the preterite is a solid block. Okay? It's solid. That's what the preterite is. And when it ends, it's over. It's done. It's completed. Okay? So that's what they say, it's like a completed event. But what it means is that, let me give you an example. Okay. Ayer, yo estaba en eh, un supermercado y quería usar el baño, pero el baño estaba cerrado. Okay. So what have I said? Yesterday I was in the supermarket and I wanted to use the toilet, but it was broken or it was closed. Okay? I used the imperfect. Quería usar el baño. Why am I using the imperfect? Because it, it, it was just a desire that I had. It wasn't, it didn't complete itself. The desire didn't get completed. Okay? Now listen to this one. Ayer eh, estaba en el supermercado y quise usar el baño. Okay. So I'm using quise. Why? Because I went. I wanted to. And I went. It was completed. Okay? The difference between Ah, si él no quería ir or, él no quiso ir. Alright? 
no quería ir. Maybe he did go, maybe he didn't. It's, it's not certain. No quiso ir. There was a wanting and that wanting was fulfilled. He did not go. Okay, so do you get the Im image? The, the preterite is, d it's, it's like a done deal. It's done. Okay, that's why um, when you put a time frame on the preterite, well, when you put the time frame on the past, you use the preterite. Why? Because it's very, it's a, it's a very specific, solid block. Yo fui policía durante diez años. Boom. Solid block. Okay. Yo era policía. Just kind of a description in the past. I'm not measuring it. Okay. So the preterite is this solid block, and the imperfect is like Morse code. Off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on. Okay? So it's kind of like a feel that you get. Um, you're kind of saying, right, is this a completed action? As in, the intention was actually fulfilled. You see, the imperfect's quite often just an intention. And the preterite is the fulfillment of that particular intention. Give me, I'll give you another example. Ayer um, no podía entrar en casa. No, no podía encontrar mis llaves para entrar en casa. Okay? So I couldn't find my keys yesterday. No podía. But I, that doesn't mean I didn't get in. It was just what was happening. And probably I found them and I did get in. It was just showing what was going on. But if I say, ayer no pude entrar en casa, that's, that is the intention, the not being able to, was fulfilled, I could not, and I did not. That's what the preterite's job is, is to show that it, bam, this has happened. It isn't just what was going on, but it's what ended up happening. Okay, does that make sense? So. That's what they mean by a completed action. No podía entrar. There was a point in which I wasn't able to, but I probably did afterwards. No quería irme. I didn't want to go. That was my intention, but hey, I probably ended up being talked around. Or maybe not. Yeah? Whereas, no pude entrar. I did not get in. No quise ir. I didn't want to go and I did not go. Okay? Finished. Done. And that, that intention is done. Does that make sense? So that's a, a, another little addition to all of your families of, you know, the was in, wearing and put measurements on. If you imagine it like that, then that'll help you. Okay? Let's see what happens. Give me your comments. Hasta luego, chicos.